So you've purchased your container and now is the time to begin construction on one of the scariest and one of the most exciting parts of the build. And that is your cutouts and your reinforcements. Now stay to the end of the video where I do have a free gift for those of you that are DIY container home builders. When it comes to structural reinforcements and the cutouts, I wanna give you all the advice from lessons that we've learned the hard way. First is how do you do your cutouts for your doors and for your windows. We typically will use either a grinder or a plasma cutter. In the early days, we tried using a torch and that was a mess. So the simplest approach is actually just a four inch grinder. You can get a grinder with a four inch grinding wheel on it. It's something that you can even purchase for, from Harbor Freight and get everything you need for under 50 bucks and begin to go to town cutting out your doors and windows. Now it is important that you cut them out very, very accurately. You don't want to end up trying to make perfect cuts and then you're going all over the place. So I usually want to encourage someone, if you've never done it before, do some practice cuts. If you need to cut a, a window that's four by four, start by putting a line somewhere in the middle and just trying to get used to making a straight line going up. Once you can do that, you're now prepared to actually begin cutting out your windows or your door. Now, what you'll want to do is also provide some kind of guide for you. This may mean actually outlining the window directly on the container with a marker that then you can follow along with your grinder. But it is important that you do everything you can to make sure that that square you're cutting out or that rectangle you're gonna cut on your container is just right. Now, when it comes to the structural reinforcements, we recommend using tube steel. We've seen people try to get creative and use wood and we've honestly tried some innovative ways of using wood, um, but it just doesn't do the job nearly as good as if you use steel. So this is, two inch by three inch tube steel. These frames, more often than not, especially if it's a window, we're creating that window frame completely off site on the ground and then bringing it up and welding it into the hole in the container. Now I wanna show you a couple of important details. Um, you can see here, this frame, it does not exceed this corrugation by much. And part of the reasoning there is when you start to do your interior wall framing, there's a lot of benefits when this tube steel isn't popping and jetting out into your framing. It's gonna allow your wall framing to now sit flush against the container. Now, in this application, I wanna show you over here, we actually chose to go with two by three steel. Usually you can get away with two inch by two inch steel. That's usually what we'll do. But the reason we did two by three steel is because in these on these two containers here, they're gonna have exterior siding across the entire exterior, and we wanted that exterior siding to terminate right here at this frame. We didn't want it to be in front of it, and we didn't wanna to have to come up with a weird way to try to transition it. So that, that wood framing will end right here. And what we're gonna end up doing is adding wood furring strips in these valleys that the siding will attach to. Um, now, a couple cool things to show you. Uh, you can see here on this window frame, the entire frame was created and then welded in. Now this is a traditional way that most people are gonna do cutouts and reinforcements, especially when you see like construction offices and things like that. They're just gonna create a frame just around the window that gets welded in. Now in some applications, if you're in an area that's got hurricanes and earthquakes, you may have an engineer that wants you to create something more, more rigid. And what they'll usually do is have these two left and right members go all the way down right here to this part of your flooring and then run all the way up to that top tube steel. What that's doing is creating a ton of structural reinforcement in this area. And ultimately what that means is in between those two bars, it really doesn't matter. You could do a, an entire piece of glass, you can do a shorter window with some siding or just a window like this. And we refer to those typically as H-frames. So in areas where you have to increase the rigidity of the container even more, you may have to do H-frames for your doors and your windows. Now, one more thing to show you here is our drip edges. Now, we've noticed that one of the biggest issues that people have in container homes is leaks with their windows. And it's for that reason that we do everything we can to make sure those leaks don't continue to happen. Uh, one of the most effective ways is by adding drip edges. So we actually had these uh, drip edges custom made by a metal shop. We give them the widths of our windows. They prefabricate them to those sizes. And then we have our welder come in here and weld them right to the top. The benefit of this is all the rainwater that's gonna land on the roof, that's gonna flow down the side of the container will not flow down the face of the window anymore. It's gonna hit that drip edge, it's gonna get kicked off, and we're not gonna have leaks on our doors or on our windows. Now, one of the craziest things about structural reinforcements for us 
is that we actually no longer do this here at our shop. This gets a 100% outsource to a vendor location at the port where we get our containers from that can also perform these modifications. The benefits of that is not only is there a lot of cost savings in doing it, there's a tremendous amount of time savings. It'll actually shave off about 30% of your project build time by outsourcing that entire portion. Now, I mentioned to you that there was a free gift that we have for you, and that free gift is a free training that we have put together. It's all about how to build your own shipping container home. And in that training, we do reveal to you exactly how we outsource all of the structural on our builds. So if you'd like to check that out, you can click the link in the description below for more information. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Look forward to show you more videos in this series on how to build a container home, and I'll see you next time.